Good morning everyone. Once again from the beautiful city of Bangkok. This is day three in Bangkok. It's my final day. I leave for Siem Reap in the morning. Uh, I'm just out here at the uh, cafe Amazon for some breakfast. I'm having a cheese sandwich and cappuccino. And as I explained to you in one of my other videos, that I'm keeping my breakfast uh, kind of um, traditional with the non-spicy stuff. Uh, I've been indulging in a lot of spicy, hot and spicy food over the last few days. And uh, so I gotta be careful because I'm traveling and I travel by bus and train a lot of the times. So you don't wanna have any problems. So uh, just a word of caution, the food very spicy in Thailand. Uh, which I like by the way, but you know, you gotta make some sacrifices. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice the things you want for the things you need. So just be out of mind. The next thing is to visit the Icon Siam Mall, which is one of the uh, biggest tourist attractions or one of the big tourist attractions here in Bangkok. some of that. The uh, mango with the sticky rice and the coconut milk. I believe that's so amazing. Some nuts and dried fruit. Alright, so there seems to be different sections to the mall. The one that I just came from now was probably like the food court and maybe the stores and everything else is upstairs. Yeah, it seems like it. I might come back to this mall later this evening. What I want to do is get to the outside and get to the boat rides, buy my ticket and uh, to the attractions. Check this out. I can't say him. Ah, and some good music playing in the background as well. Check it out guys. The Mahanakan Tower that I was at yesterday. You can see on the side also the glass floor. That's the one that I walked on. It's right on the 78th floor. Wow man, this is beautiful. Right, now to find the ticket office. It's that way. Here we go. Alright. Music jamming out here guys. It's a beautiful day. What a lovely vibe here at Icon Siam. I can't wait to get on that boat. And just to stop at some of the other attractions. Alright, let's see. So I'm taking... There's the orange line and then there's also the blue line. 
So I'm gonna take the blue one because I think the orange one is the more expensive one. So I'm taking the blue flag, hop on, hop off. I got the blue line and I got it for the all day river pass, 250 baht. So uh, the single journey is 30 baht, so that's you can just go to one of these spots, right? But with the blue, with the uh, all day river pass, you can get on, get off at any of these destinations or any of these attractions, and it comes all the way back to to this uh, uh, pier. So there we go, happy. Right, I'm gonna take a seat and wait for the next one. Right, I got off at uh, Richawong here. Uh, this was the first stop, and this stop from here you can go to Chinatown. Very exciting guys and Chinatown was one of my items that was on the to-do list. So you also get the um, the guide with your ticket and it will tell you exactly each stop and um, which attractions you can visit with each stop. Chinatown, well, I'm already in Chinatown, but this is part of the uh, little alleys. Landmark, and I'm using Grand China as the landmark. Is that a hotel? Uh, it seems like a hotel. So, uh, guys, you can easily get lost in Chinatown. So, this is the road I've got to be on, Rachawang Road, all the way to the left, and then I'll get back to the pier. And I'm gonna find my way this way, head on over to the busier side of Chinatown. And as you can see, guys, this looks like proper Chinatown. It is massive and you can get lost so easily. My leg is holding up okay by the way. Um, I, you know there, there's, there's some pain because of the impact. But the plosses you see is just with the door scraped on my knee. But that's not even the worst of the problem. The problem was that it hit me so hard. Because the lady actually opened the door onto my knee while I was sitting on the bike. Um, so 
I'm probably gonna feel a bit of the pain this evening or maybe tomorrow morning I hope it won't be too bad guys because I'm gonna do I have to do a lot of walking so <laughs> this is only my third day so I'm probably gonna end up walking a whole lot more and I would hate to be commuting by bus or train or, or uh, by cab I like to walk as well well I mean I like to walk most of all that's how you get to see the places. Rajni and then I'm going to visit the flower market it's such a cool setup the uh, ferry rides or the boat rides take you to the pier or well, to the next pier and then from there you can walk to the attractions that is so cool that way you get to see so much of the city other than being uh, stuck in traffic you know in the city center itself so I'm actually loving this guys this is really refreshing it is hot though I gotta tell you that you uh, <laughs> you end up spending a lot of time in the Sun but uh, on the second ride now I opted to sit at the bottom the bottom deck and I wasn't exposed to the sun so that was cool but it was also like a five minute ferry ride to the next stop Yeah, yeah, 
This is one of the busiest piers I've seen. Right, I think these are people returning. We're coming back from the Grand Palace. And it looks like there's a line at the entrance. So guys, if the line is too long, it doesn't seem that long right now. I might not go inside, but let's just check it out. My intention was just to see where the Grand Palace is. I wasn't really going to go inside and film. And also I've got to check if you're allowed to film on the inside. And if not, then I'll give it a miss. Okay, that looks like the exit. So let's find the entrance. Alright, it seems that the entrance is way up ahead. Alright, this is the Grand Palace guys, but you know what? This did not work out for me. Uh, I couldn't find the entrance first of all, because all these entrances over here are exits. And they keep saying to use the next entrance. And so I had to walk all the way around. But then I got to an entrance and it was so crowded. And then I just decided to give it a miss. Um, there are other things I wanted to film. But just so you know, this is the Grand Palace. And I'm going to make my way to the next stop now. Because I really want to get to Kaosan. And I want to get to Kaosan before it gets dark. Because I might even go back to Kaosan this evening. When it's darker and the markets are out in full flow. So right. I apologize for that guys, but... That's just the way it is. You win some, you lose some. Uh, this is Bra Atif. Since the vibe is different here, it feels more like uh, like you're on one of the islands. Definitely has that feel. Uh, reminds me a bit of Bangla Road or even Pattaya. Not quite, but you know it doesn't have that big city feel when you're out here. Love it though. Of course, the sports balls. your typical market street but I think there are some clubs and bars in the road as well and of course guys food so much food bars clothing wow Kaosan Road we have the police station who is close by Yes, guys, I'm going for the uh, coconut smoothie again. 
Kaosan Road, what a vibe. Is that scorpion? Scorpion. And the other one? Yeah, same same chicken. Chicken. No, that's not chicken. It's snake. Is the other one snake? Snake. Oh dear. Hundred bucks. I'm not gonna try that. That was spectacular guys um, I got here just in time for that uh, show and the next one's gonna be at 8 o'clock so what I'm gonna do now is go to the rooftop because I believe that there's a uh, an exceptional viewing point on the roof and so I'm on the first floor right now of the mall I don't really form inside walls guys because uh, it's not my style but just to give an idea of what it looks like and I hope the light is okay it is very bright in here anyway so but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to the seventh floor to get to the the rooftop viewpoint and that's gonna be epic there's no more sunset I think it's, uh, it's too late now but we're gonna see what else we can see I mean obviously we can still see the city lights and everything camera I'm using my pocket one as it's a bit better in the light or <laughs> as it's a bit better in the dark it does better in low light that's what I'm trying to say and the pocket three is even better but I don't have it with me right now oh it's back at the hotel Wow. Alright, so that's the Chao Phraya River. That's where we've spent a lot of today. Look at that man. 